What up, Steven? So I don't think, oh yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling better, bro. Way better. Way better. That sinus infection is like just about completely gone. Whatever. I don't know what else was going on with me, but it's, it's pretty much better now. So let's see here. We had. Australian dollar had retail sales yesterday and then unemployment change up here. Both missed. We're going to have unemployment change for us unemployment rate, average hourly earnings. 730 is going to be crazy. There's, there's no way there's, there's no way I'm, I'm trading this today. And plus I have Bitcoin running still too. And this thing's back up again. Bitcoin's been hitting its head up here every single time I, it gets up here. Like the difference now that I'm seeing here on Bitcoin today is that like when it hit its head up here once and twice and rejected around this area again, this time we built the support up here to continue. So maybe today we'll get this something that triggers this breakout because of if price comes back up to the top of this range and just rejects it again, and this thing pulls all the way back, I'll just close it out with like a really small loss. They, or like, it'll be right around my entry where I entered at. So I'm not crazy. I'm not concerned about it. The daily looks good. You know, we had a nice bullish close here, but this one kind of rejected. Now this daily candles uh held on to the daily support and is continuing up at this point so hopefully we get a move to the upside here before tomorrow because be out of town again when i'm going out of town there is no service so i cannot manage that trade if it doesn't move Trying to see, I heard, I was too lazy to look last night, but I heard some kind of news came across my phone last night, late. And I was like, yeah, I don't care. I'll see it in the morning, but can't find it out. I don't know. I don't know what it was that I missed. Let me see here if I can scroll back through and see anything. No, no mass required here, Douglas. Do not get me started. Yeah, so hopefully Bitcoin can catch this breakout here today, keep running. That would be nice if this thing kept pushing up to the upside going into the weekend. And outside of that, that's the only trade I have open. The, the gold trade that I would be looking at today would be somewhere above, there's clean range above 1817, 
158, but the problem is all this news at once. You're going to have three pieces of news all at once. This thing's going to be pretty idiotic. So I'm not, I'm not looking to trade this at all today. And honestly, just looking at how gold's been pushing up here, it, it's been pushing up and creating higher lows. So you can see how things have been trending here. Um, I don't think I'd want the sell side of this either. There, there's a good potential, it, you know, it could sell off. We really just play it as the market structure comes, but this move today isn't going to be, you, you won't have time for that. This thing's going to move here in 10 minutes and it's been consolidating for quite some time, you know, since, uh, Monday. So this move out of here is going to probably be pretty brutal. I'm just going to steer clear of the whole thing. Yeah, Kenneth, I seen where, oh, excuse me. I took it, I took a drink and it went down the wrong pipe here. Um, I seen where you were waiting on 51,000 for, uh, Bitcoin, but, uh, you know, I just seen the way that it was breaking out of this daily pattern, holding on to this support and this daily candle closed, like right up on that the next one was breaking out. So I just thought, screw it. You know, if this thing's going to break out right here, why not catch the entry 51 K? I mean, it makes sense to trade above that for sure, but whatever the technicals were here and the way I'm managing it, it's if we start to close back underneath all this in 48K, then I'll be closing this trade. So, and at this point going into the weekend, if this thing rejects up here and starts to come back down again, uh, I don't want to be a part of this. So I'll be looking at closing it there. And it looks like the dollar, you guys remember beginning of the week, Zoom, we were somewhere up here. Uh, it was going to be on Monday on the 30th we were up here on uh, the dollar and I talked about the dollar closing back underneath this range and continuing back down for the week. Exactly that has happened. So just about everything has gone as planned. The only thing that hasn't this week is gold breaking up higher, which leads me to think the possibility of gold doing that today could happen. So Let's just wait and see what happens. I'm going to step out of the room for a minute. I'll be right back. So it might be a little quiet, but that's all right.
All righty. Let's see here. We got three minutes. Three minutes. Uh, three minutes till this news here. Just want to see how gold. Uh, what happens to the gold market here today? Looks like Bitcoin's rejecting again. I mean, you guys, anyone have any bad back problems with like a disc in their back? Anyone have any of those problems? Got like a bad a disc that's like pinching a nerve? Crap is terrible. I guess no one's no one's old. My back hurts when I sit for too long. Dude, mine mine was happening for a long time since I've been in high school. Since I was in high school. And when I got out and I was because I played rugby in high school and for the last probably seven, eight years I played with everything else I did too. And it feels terrible sometimes. See, this is why like when, when we talk about the uh, gold buys earlier, you've got to be patient letting candles close because um, let's say that this five minute were to close up here and there was no news at 7.30 and this uh current five minute were to create a bottom wick not this deep but like create a bottom wick and turn around and break the high again that would be a point to execute but just because it breaks up into that zone doesn't mean you should execute you've got to have some kind of candle closure up there that really tells you you know why you need to enter that trade so let's see what happens here this news is going to come out one minute to the news We have got one minute here. Let's see if we can get it to pull up here. And it never pulls up quick enough on this. The news always, I don't, I don't know. It used to pull up fast, the news, as soon as it hits. But let's see what happens here. This thing should get to, oh, oh, look at gold. There it goes. See, like off of the news, if I were to put a order there, this thing would be ripping. Holy crap. Look at that thing run. Dang, that's insane. <laughs> that is amazing gold all the way up to 1825 should hear my uh cnbc go off here in about 30 seconds with the news i bet with the economic data but yeah that's that's a pretty big move there now, now what gold needs to do is hold on to these gains, these daily gains. It needs to push up to like 1830 and actually hang on to these gains today and not wick all the way back down and close into this range. See if we can get the news here to actually load. Man, I... And there's the dollar, more meltdown. So we were right at the beginning of the week. Very right about this. Bitcoin's breaking up too. Nice. See how long it takes to load? It's already been a minute after. Are you kidding me? This thing's a piece of crap. Let 
There it is. This came out faster than that. So what? There's no way they missed the numbers this bad. Listen to this. These guys suck. That's actually pretty terrible. Let's see what the S&P did. This thing's got to be Mountain, too. Bro, that was bad. <laughs> they suck, Yo. though, dude. I don't know why nothing, none of my stuff is loading, dude. I don't understand what is going on. Yeah, the s and <laughs> breaking down a bit here. Not surprised. Oh, Bitcoin's breaking out, too. Come on. This better trigger the breakout for the weekend. Oh, I'm eating on Bitcoin. Let's go. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. It's just, it needs to continue up now. It's got to continue into the weekend. Yeah. That's good. I just got a, I just took a screenshot of it ripping. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Come on. Why is this thing, none of this crap's loading? So let's see their expectation. Nothing new. Was, forecast was 720k. Steven did forecast was 720,000 and it increased 235,000. That's bro, that's garbage. <laughs> There's gold. There it is. It's 1830 again this week. Let's go. Bro, oh, that's look a at the high guy. number, bro. I that's think good. that's why it react like that, to be honest. Oh yeah, that's that's a terrible number. That's a really far-fetched number. And they were they completely missed the data. That's not good. <laughs> I'm not surprised though. Not yeah, surprised. same here. <laughs> oh, Bitcoin's paying right now. <laughs> oh my God, it goes all the way up to 1830. What an insane candle look! And one minute candle, this thing shot up probably 50 pips. I bet. But this one 15 minute candle has moved up 150 pips. Damn. Silver is up too. Pretty nice. It's incredible. I bet my dad will be texting me soon. Yeah, absolutely insane. What a move. Give me one second, though, guys. I'm going to post this uh, news inside of the groups here. So let's say we want gold. We want a nice daily candle to close strong here, somewhere up above 1820 to continue in the next week. Yeah, that's a pretty big miss number. What a mover today. Yeah, we just, we're going to need more follow through with this. So that's the problem is once price wakes up like that and closes back into the range, it's not, it's, it's not a real true gain. So we're going to need price to have some kind of follow through today and continue.
man, I should have just said, screw it and put on like quarter size position on that breakout. I knew it was coming today too, but it's okay. I'm up, up on Bitcoin pretty nice right now. We'll see if we can get some kind of follow through this week uh, or the rest of today anyways. Looks like oil still grinding back up. We talked about that. Anything else from anyone? Any questions or anything? Thoughts and concerns? Anybody? No, sir. Thanks, Stephen. We should have took the gamble, bro. We should. We should have, bro. <clears throat> I, I, one of my buddies just sent me a screenshot because he's been buying gold all week telling me this thing's going to fly up and he has a position at still at 17 86 20 that's running i guess he nice. closed it out one at yeah. 18, 14 one at 18 12 and one at 1807 dang he was stacking huh? oh yeah he's like dude this thing's breaking out this week during nfp <laughs> Pretty, pretty smart trader yeah and and anyways yeah we talked about this a lot throughout the week this consolidation like once you get that and you have major news at the end of the week this pop is inevitable yeah. like to one side or the other that breakout is going to be just absolutely brutal right that, i mean that one one minute candle that broke out of there so maybe it was like above 18 17 back above this high here, pretty much, that breakout was 67 pips, then it continued Jeez. up 110, 111. That's insane. Yeah. So now let's see if we can get like some kind of uh, four hour close now, back above, like, it would be really nice if this four hour were to close back above 1820 pretty much 1820, 1821. And that's going to happen here in 20 minutes. That would be a nice strong close up above this level here. And we could catch a continuation maybe uh, off of New York Stock Exchange open with the bad news. So I don't know. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I didn't plan on trading anything today. This, this, these kind of moves are way too crazy for me. Um, I don't want to gamble on that. The, again, the only thing I have open that I sent out to the groups was I've got Bitcoin open and I traded Bitcoin off of um, traded Bitcoin. I, I, I'm going to attempt to hold it to 56K, but I seen the daily holding a support and breaking out here. So as we attempt to break out, my thought is that you know, this thing really shouldn't come back and jack around anywhere back underneath this daily low. So if like 48.4 breaks again, I'm going to have to really consider closing this trade out and just leaving it alone for now. But as of now, again, we're breaking out. So out of this daily range anyways, bad news on the US dollar. Why not? Looks all right. But next week, I plan on doing a few uh, live sessions. We'll actually be trading in. Well, I think we did. Oh, well, we tried to do one yesterday, but I got I had something that popped up. We did do it, but it was very short. And then uh, sorry, I'm just looking at this chart here. And then uh We're back on here today. So maybe next week we can get some good actual trading in maybe Thursday and Friday or something. We'll see here.
Man, this thing sucked all the way back down. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is like some kind of false move when they break like that and they don't continue. We need price to follow through here. Yeah, broke out of that. See that see that same pattern on gold here is what Bitcoin did on the daily. Same exact thing, both just broke out. So let's see if we can get some follow through today. Outside of that, I just want to watch the news with everyone, get a nice little reaction. We'll see what happens. You guys have my thoughts. We need to close a daily candle back above like 1820. Sorry, I have I've got a great Dane, and once she gets bargain, it's it's pretty loud. I don't know what she's bargaining about, but anything else from anyone? That's going to be it for me. I'm not actually trading anything today. Just want to watch gold news, watch what happens with silver, see if the dollar continues today, and then watch Bitcoin to see if it'll break out because I obviously have that trade run in there. So what is my four digits on what? Oh, oh, hold up a second. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know how to look at that. Oh, five, one, seven, four. I want to make sure you can message me before I get off here. That way you don't, that way you don't lose it or uh, lose connection somehow. Yeah, I think just shoot me a message on there. 5174 is the last, uh, is the four digits. Big old wick. Close right back underneath 1820. yeah you should you should be able to message me i i haven't got one yet so i don't know message me on there and i'll i'll answer any question you have but outside of that that's going to be it for me so unless you guys have anything else i'm about to hop off of here and enjoy the weekend that's what i'm going to do here this is going to be a long weekend too uh, so you couldn't get you couldn't get a hold of me then Try Telegram. Um, you can find me on Instagram, same name. You can find me on Telegram, same name. If all else fails, go to in make an Instagram account and type in my name. Follow me. Message me. All righty. That's it for me. I'm going to let Bitcoin run. I'll keep you guys updated with that. And uh, I'll, I'll keep an update going with gold at the end of the day. So I'll catch all you guys later. Peace out. Peace, bro. See you, Steven. Peace, man.